My name is Rory O'Dooling. I'm the Senior Park Superintendent uh, in Dooley Down County Council. So I'm responsible for all the parks, open spaces, street trees, little green patches. We have the big ticket parks, you know, the big places uh, that people love, the Marley, Cabin Teedy, Kalini Hill, Shangana Park, Deer Park, Black Rock Park, and uh, the, the lovely little gems that are dotted around the place that sometimes uh, people wouldn't be aware of, such as where we are today, which is uh, Otranto Park down in Sandy Cove. One of the Council's corporate goals is to be a leader in environmental action and climate change. The way we, we would interpret that or do that in parks is through nature-based solutions. Natural green ways of um, implementing plans and objectives that go towards environmental protection, which we do, and climate change itself. I'm Louise Connolly and I am an assistant foreman in Marley Park. I'm loving it at the minute, even more than I usually do, because we're getting to do lots and lots of lovely wildflower meadows and wilding, as we call it, becoming very much more sustainable and uh, following a biodiversity plan. Um, this was last year's wildflower meadow. It was spectacular, and this is its second year. The bees love it and all the insect life. And not only that, last year the public interest was ginormous. Everybody came by with cameras, photographed themselves, the bees, their children, whatever, they were really in love with it. Well, biodiversity is everything. And it's not just plants, it's insects and birds and all of the other animals that, that rely on that. So it's a very delicate chain. I think we're only now getting an understanding of when we make a decision to intervene in a particular place, it has a big effect on everything. So sometimes the challenge for us is to get our message out, and that's a massive challenge. That wilding effect um, with the weeds brings the flowers as well, but people find it very difficult to get used to the idea of things not being cut and neat. And that is something that we need to um, develop more and educate people more about. We, we may think we're fantastic geniuses for saying yes, we're letting places go wild now, but maybe people don't know or know why. And they might be used to looking at a place for 30 years and it's manicured within an inch of its life and suddenly we don't spray anymore. So we stop spraying. We don't use any herbicide anywhere. That has a massive knock-on effects for what we do or what we don't do and also for, for people's perception. I think now more than ever people are realising the benefit of trees and greenery and, and just the open air and the outdoors, especially in, in built-up areas, people who haven't got back gardens or access to them, it becomes everything. And I think that's its legacy and that's the legacy of every park and every open space.